Since the first case detected in China in December, 5 million people across the world have contracted COVID-19. Almost 326,000 people have died worldwide. The United States has become the worst affected with 1.5 million cases with 93,000 deaths. President Trump versus the WHO. The war of words continues as both sides not backing off. As many fear going back to work, the hope of a vaccine is on the horizon. All 50 U.S. states have partially reopened after a two-month shutdown, while some states continue to see a rise of corona cases. Am I going back to school? Mary de Blasio said it's still too early to predict school plans for the fall. If you want any positives of all this, world carbon pollution falls 17% during pandemic peak. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Sleeland. Tonight, we start with Memorial Day weekend, as some of us brace ourselves while others let go. The reopening of restaurants, bars, parks, churches has many looking for enormity. Governor Cuomo says state beaches will only allow 50% capacity. Mayor de Blasio says he hopes to begin reopening New York City in the first half of June. Allowing construction to resume and retailers to reopen with restrictions. As New York declines, other states have seen more cases. Maryland reported a record 1,784 new COVID-19 cases in one day. More than 41,000 are now infected. Texas has seen an increase. A Texas church has now canceled mass after one of their priests has died as five others have tested positive for COVID-19. Do you want to go back to school? What do you fear? Mayor de Blasio says the number one factor is safety. Is homeschooling an option? Right now we are being joined by Messi Chico to inform us about homeschooling. Hello Messi, how are you? How long have you been doing homeschooling for? Thank you Doug for having me. In July, it will be two years that our family decided to start homeschooling. We started when I was in fourth grade, and I'm about to finish fifth grade. What are the benefits of being homeschooled, and what are the negatives? Well, Doug, some of the benefits that I like the best are not having to wake up at 6.30 a.m., finishing school by 1 p.m., plus no homework and studying in interesting places like the beach, library, and, and, or Ushuaia, Argentina to learn about penguins. Oh, and having my mom as my teacher. She's great, but don't tell her that I said that. It's our secret. What I dislike is during COVID-19, I'm not able to be with my friends at homeschool co-op Bible study, or my other activities. Oh, and my mom can be really strict, but don't tell her that I said that either. Messi, would you be able to join the school soccer team or any activity if you were being homeschooled? Florida Statute 1006 allows individual home education students to participate at public school or private school school and scholastic extracurricular activities. For example, my former private school has slots on their teams for homeschool students. Of course, you would have to try out. This year, my extracurricular activities included drum class, photography, karate competition team, performing arts, hi-ho, and comp competitive basketball. Go South Florida Heat. Thank you, Messi, and you keep in touch. President Trump sent a letter to the World Health Organization. He's threatening to freeze U.S. funding. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman said this is an attempt to shift blame of U.S. incompetence.
A COVID-19 vaccine has been tested on eight people. Results are positive as the eight people developed antibodies that fight the virus. Virus manufacturer Moderna says that if all testing goes well, they hope to have it available by late this year, early next year. In a positive note, world carbon pollution falls 17% lower during pandemic peak. While humans are stuck in the hands of a global pandemic, Mother Earth is healing herself. Good for Mother Earth. And now, here's our meteorologist, Ari Monroe, with the weather. Go! It's shot. At least she told us the weather. In sports, the first leg of the Triple Crown kicks off with the Palm Rock States in New York. The race is set for the 20th of June. The race will be without fans in the bleachers. NBA legend and the GOAT wore these sneakers in 1985 during his rookie season. These signed pair of vintage Jordan 1s just sold for a record $560,000. NBA teams should be setting guidelines on June 1st for the season's return. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver says he hopes to get hoops going by late June, early July. And my dad will be very happy. Right, Dad? Because watching the loser Knicks is better than nothing. Okay, that's all for tonight, folks. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dulce, and I'll see you next week on DLS News.